All right, I'm going to make a short video today about this uh, Star 380 rotary hay rake. Uh, I made a video about a week back, and I showed a little bit of how the internals of this works. And it would be a crime not to show you how it works in the field because I'm very happy with it. I've never used a rotary hay rake before, and I've been very pleased. First things first... Uh, this field is very bumpy and it's going to be loud, but I'm going to drive a little bit and I'm going to show you what it does here. Um, what I like most about it is that it, it almost perfectly inverts the hay uh, so that what was on the bottom in green is to the top. Uh, it's hard to tell in this video here, but um, and it, it fluffs it up really well. I think you can see the wispy fluffed up windrows there. This happened to be some really late first crop that was extremely thick, so I'm just raking one row at a time, but it um, it really fluffs it up, and it almost perfectly flips it over, and we're going to see that here in a second. Um, very happy with the rake. Oh, and one other thing that's really handy is none of the tines seem to actually touch the ground unless it's really uneven, which this field is really uneven. Uh, we bought this property from an Amish family and this field I haven't filled up yet and it's it's very uneven um, so you'll see a little bit of that when the tines hit the ground the dust will um, the dust will pick up but for the most part you won't be getting any of that ash from the ground in your hay which is excellent and um, the other nice thing is that it has a distinct sound when you hit a rock that's slightly higher or loose on your field it goes tick, tick, tick really quick, and it's audible over all the noise. And you can uh, detect the rocks that are in your field, which is, I don't know, I think that was kind of funny. But, um, and I, it is very handy as well. So let's, let's fire the Massey up and give it a try here. Again, I apologize, it's going to be bumpy and it's going to be noisy, but we'll see if we can show you how it works. I think we've seen enough of how that works. I'm just about getting thrown off the massy here because I'm so close. I'm trying to stand up and get you a better view, but you can see what it's doing. I mean, it, it's very gentle on the hay. The tines really aren't contacting the ground at all. And one thing too, this ground is super uneven. And I will say these longer tines is something I hadn't considered, but that is a real benefit because they're harder to break when they get, you know, in contact with a rock or a rut or something. You know, the short tines on like a bar rake, they'll flex for a while, but they're, you know, the longer the lever is, the less chance it's going to getting just sheared off and snapped. You know, he's got a lot of, a lot of travel at the end of it, a lot of give. So that's, that's a benefit in my opinion. So I'm very pleased and Boy, it really did a nice job on this field. Everything is just fluffy, and what was on bottom is perfectly exposed on top. So hopefully this can help make your decision on if you want one or not. I know I would. I don't think I'll be without one again. So that's my opinion. All right. Catch you later. Have a good one.